today we are going to discuss how to design a four bar mechanism or how to synthesize a four bar mechanism with the help of a given three positions okay so here is the question design a four bar mechanism such that theta 1 2 is equal to 120 degree theta 1 3 is equal to 170 degree phi 1 2 is equal to 70 degree and phi 1 3 is equal to 100 degree okay i hope you are aware with what is theta 1 2 theta 1 3 theta phi 1 2 and phi 1 3 okay so here also first of all we have to fix the points which are grounded okay we are assuming the assuming the fixed points that means a and b okay so this is your point a and this is your point b okay so next we are going to mark the link c1 okay next you are going to mark the link c1 bc1 so by assuming the position somewhat over here i am taking the point c1 over here and i am joining this line and ab so i am joining this ab and bc1 so two links are ready before me next i am going to mark the line x1 which is at an angle of which is equal to 512 by 2 is equal to 35 degree okay so next i am going to mark the line x2 at an angle of 513 by 2 okay so this is the line x2 at an angle of this is equal to 513 by 2 okay which is equal to 50 degree okay similarly you have to mark the input angles also okay so from here i am going to mark the first position that means that means theta 1 2 by 2 okay so theta 1 2 is equal to 120 degree and theta 1 2 by 2 is equal to 60 degree so i am marking the line and this angle will be equal to theta 1 2 by 2 okay, which is equal to 60 degree next i am going to mark the line y2 which is at an angle of theta 1 3 by 2 okay so theta 1 3 by 2 which is equal to 170 degree theta 1 3 is equal to 170 degree and theta 1 3 by 2 it will give 85 degree theta 1 3 by 2 which will be equal to 85 degree so i'm going to mark the line at 85 degree So I am extending this line. Next, I am going to mark the points P1 and P2. So your lines Y1 and X1 will meet at the point P1, which is the first pole, and X2 and Y2 will meet at the point P2. Okay, so this is your P2. Okay, so next you are going to join the C1 and P2. okay and measure this angle beta and transfer that line over here with this y2 and this angle will be equal to beta similarly you have to join this point p1 and c1 okay similarly you have to join the point P1 and C1. Here you have got another angle. Let it be gamma and draw a line which is at an angle of gamma from the line P1 Y1. Okay. Okay. So this angle will be equal to gamma. Now you can see that this lines y3 and y4 will meet at a common point, and this intersecting point will be your point D1. Okay. 
let it be d1 okay so let me join this d1 and a1 d1 and a which is your required crank and d1 c1 which is your required coupler so i will explain the figure once again so first you have to fix the point a then fix the point b join the line ab at an arbitrary length okay then draw the link bc1 which is your output link after that you have to draw the line x1 which is at an angle of t512 by 2 at 35 degree here okay so this is your fifth line segment after that you have to draw the sixth one which is at an angle of uh, 513 is equal to 2 513 by 2 is equal to 50 degree so after that you have to draw the line y1 and y2 at an angle of theta 12 by 2 and theta 13 by 2 okay so after that you are drawing this line y1 and y2 so so this line 7 and line 5 will meet at point p1 or p2 okay these are these two are the poles okay so this is your nine this is your tenth point okay next you have to join the line p1 c1 and p2 c1 okay next you are going to draw the line p1 c1 okay so next you are going to draw the line p1 c1 join the join the points p1 c1 which is equal to 11 so measure the angle <coughs> measure the angle beta and mark it over here and draw the line y4 okay draw the line y4 so this is your 12th one after that join the line p2 c1 this is equal to the 13th one after that you have to draw the line p2 y3 at an angle of this angle be gamma and measure this angle and place it over here this will be equal to gamma so this 12 and 14 will intersect at a point d1 okay d1 and this is your required crank 16 is your required crank and 17 is your required coupler okay so practice this problem thank you